Here's the conclusion of Thunderfoot. No, 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 no. I, 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 get, I get to make. I, you know, would you, you agree? Get to sum up, um, with summarize what I said. You already agreed with this, so you tell me if I'm right or wrong. We don't know that we exist. Reality may not be real. Well, um, uh, was it? it's Eric. It's Eric. Eric can't demonstrate that reality exists, right? I believe I can, and I believe I have. And, and no, no, you just asserted it. You've just asserted it. But you don't know that because you don't know anything. Look, we're not talking about what I think. We're talking about what you think, right? You know, yeah. right? So your, your, your proof that the universe exists is, well, you can't prove it doesn't. Yeah. You see that this is not a terribly useful right. way about going Here's about the problem. Somebody that says, I could be wrong about everything, in other words, I don't know anything, and cut, then cut says, the yeah, just cut to the chase. Give me the independent observation that shows the universe. Somebody that says, I could not know anything, and then says, how do you, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, we're already, we're already, for somebody to say, I could be wrong about everything, and then say that they know something, or ask me, even, even to speak a language, even to talk, even to open your mouth, is inconsistent. So your uh, your proof that the universe exists is your belief system synthesis. How about this? Does uh, just to answer the question? Look, stop answering every question with yeah, but your belief system synthesis. This is irrelevant. We're talking about your belief system. Your you, you know that can't so, you that can't be prayed to. So right? You so, no, no, no. Pray, pray to him now. Ask him. Show me that the universe exists by some completely independent thing. Show me that there is no possible possibility that I could be wrong. So you're giving up atheism? Are we talking about your religion? But you don't even know what we're talking your about. Your religion. Okay, we, we made our, I've made my basic assumptions, right? And you're actually, I, I, I've been honest. I've said the assumptions that I've made. You've not been honest. You keep answering every quest, uh, question with, I don't like your beliefs. Right? Then they say, yes, you have to be doing it for the last 20 minutes. No, I okay, so right, so, uh, I assume that the universe exists. Right? How many times have I said that? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, right, so why do you keep asking me the exact same question? Right, uh, uh, I'm done, yeah? The universe exists. If you can test this assumption, if you even contest it, it's an assumption. I don't contest that the universe does exist. What I contest is the basis for that. You're the one who says it may not. No, I can't. Can't. That's your claim. What I should be doing is asking right. you. Okay. You right. This so assumption. we're now. You're the one who contests that assumption. We're now on point. We just assume. I, I assume the universe exists. And I know it exists. You're the one who doesn't give well, me. Well, in, 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 in which case, I, 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 I got, I got this done, right? I know that the universe exists. I know that God doesn't exist. Right, I've, I've disproved your religion. Are you now going to become an atheist? Obviously not, because that's not a No, 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 no. I know, I know with absolute certainty, I, I know with absolute certainty that God doesn't exist. Right? And, 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 and so, so, so. I've changed my mind. Right? So. Ladies and gentlemen, an atheist has repented and changed his mind. I'm impressed with that. Let me ask you this. Is everybody... No, 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 no. I've just disproved your religion. I would have thought you would have been putting up a more robust defense than this. I just told you that God doesn't exist. What now, you need to do that is you gave up atheism in order to do that. No. Because no. atheism says we don't know. No, 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 no. I, I've just told you I 
know that what doesn't exist. And and so you know, have to give up atheism to do that because you just oh, said you could be wrong about everything. No, well, actually, I, I would have said that's more uh, practical knowledge and quality about reality, I think. But this is completely redundant. I've just proved to you that you're wrong about asserting that God exists. No, 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 no. I know, I, I know that God doesn't exist. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me, let, me just get, let me just get it straight. Are you actually saying to a man who has just told you that I know no God exists, that you're not an atheist? Yeah, because just a minute ago... I'm See, do you understand what an atheist is? Somebody who says God does not exist. I have just told you that I know that God does not exist. And you just said that... Right after you said you don't know anything. You said... Does this uh, make sense? No, it doesn't. Exactly. You, know, you, you understand that I, I have just told you that there is no God. But you don't know... And now you're telling me that I gave up atheism to do it. Because in order to know anything, you must believe in God, which is what God says. That's what he says in Romans chapter 1. Everybody knows that he exists. Uh, uh, the fear which, of the Lord uh, which is one? the beginning uh, of knowledge. Uh, which is to disprove your own religion. Because it, it's fundamentally wrong. The, the, uh, everything that we see around us is delivered by science, not by religion, not by your children. It's delivered by men working, by, by working out how reality functions. But you don't know that. Well, how many times have you asked me this question? Many, because you're, say, you're making claims. And I've, you're you're and I've given you the same answer every time. This is like, um, whatever, people banging their head against you, right? We've answered it, right? Okay? We've answered it. You're not going to ask me the same question 15 times again, yeah? Well, there's nothing wrong with asking a question 15 times again. Hey, guys, we're videotaping. Heads up. Uh, we've established that you don't know anything, and now you... No, we, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. no we, we've established that God doesn't exist. No, we've established that no, you no, said we, we, you could be wrong about it. Keith, man, show this for what it is. Okay. Oh. Show this is for what it is. <laughs> Descend to the level that they descend to. Yeah, look, it, it's simple. You just assert that you have knowledge of reality. I can assert that just as easy. Right? The thing is, that serves no functional purpose whatsoever. Right? What does serve a functional purpose is forming models about reality. Without even knowing that you're knowing that reality is real? I believe reality now, is now, real. Now, what, what, what did I say less than a minute ago? What did I say less than a minute ago? Stop repeating the same things that you've done time and time again. We 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 don't argue this way. Or what you're saying right there is stop pointing out that I don't know anything. That's what you're saying right now. Well, that's not what I said. You did. You said I could be wrong about everything I know. Well, that's knowledge in itself, isn't it? That and that's the problem. Yeah. Hey, can I ask one more question? Is everybody? Uh, what's your name? Tevin. Tevin? Yeah. Hey, Tevin here. Is it possible that Tevin does not have? Um, a basis for reality. Is it possible that he could think he's real, but he's not real? Is that possible? Let me ask this. Is, is everybody... You know, there, there is a reason why anything's possible. Is it probable? Yeah. Anything's possible. We'll talk about that in a minute. Is it probable? There's is a reason why I'm a scientist to happen, and you're not. The is possibility there, there could reason, be there. But there's, there's no a reason problem. why I have a decent knowledge about the functioning of reality, and you don't. When you don't even know that reality exists. But here's my last question. No, no. Last question. Is everybody's reasoning valid? I think we've, we've, we've covered this. So is everybody's reasoning valid? We haven't covered this. Does everybody have valid? I mean, of all the people in the universe and the world, does everybody have valid reason? This is this is selfish. Okay, 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 I, I know. Give, give me a hand. Look, okay. I'll hold it here for you. Practical models is always be about reality. We are humans. We have the same genome. Everyone here has more or less the same genome. About one gigabyte of data. Within that is code to actually create the human brain. That means that virtually everyone here has more or less exactly the same brain. That's made out of one gigabyte of data, or fractional. Right? That brain can actually store far more information than the actual genome itself. But it also has multiple other functions, including speech, social interactions, and ability for models. Well, Right? So when you say, do I know that these people actually 
actually are, uh, are reasoning properly. The reason is because, yes, we're all skewed from the same genome. We all have the same hardware. So your position is everybody's reasoning is valid. Did I say that? You just said we're all sharing the same thing, so yes, I mean, that's... No, I mean, no, 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 this is your straw man. No, Don't let him spoil what I heard, I'm trying to Get explain him. what I heard, so you can better explain it to me. I, what I heard you say is we've all got basically the same brain, so yes, our reasoning is valid. Uh, no, we have basically the same brain, such that I can assume that other people's brains function in a similar fashion to mine. So is everybody's reasoning valid? If I went to the Schizo Award, would you agree their reasoning is not valid? We're dealing with population. Do you understand that not everyone here is exactly the same? Of course, yeah. They're, they're right. So most of the brain functions are the same. Most of the healthy brain functions. Uh, oh, healthy brain. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about all the brains. Is everybody's reasoning talking about general properties? Let me ask you this. I, I, I answered this. Let me ask you this. If somebody did not have valid reasoning, would they even know that? Same question. How do you know that your brain is not defective? That's what I want to ask you. Right, well, well, I beat you to it. How do you know that your brain is not defective? Well, you're not going to like my answer. Yeah. But here's my answer. Because you know it, sir. No, because it's been revealed by God. So all those people who are in the psych, are, 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 they, are, they, um, are they actually, if they believe in God, are their brains not defective? Do they know it? No, Are the brain slaves in the know they're not? Do they, uh, do they know that? So how, how do you know that you're not one of these people? Because that, I've got revelation from God, as do you. I'm no. the one who has a basis for it. If I ask you the same thing, how do you know that you're not one of those people? You would say, I don't, right? The, the fundamental difference between us is I actually care about forming models of reality. You just want to assert what you want. You just want to assert. God you're exists. assuming no, no. No, this is this is demonstrable from you, all of these recordings. The, 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 the thing the thing that is demonstrable from all these recordings here is I actually present a, a methodology for actually a, for defining new knowledge, for expanding the knowledge of mankind. All you've uh, all you've done is say, well, I know God exists. That's your entire argument. That's that's everything. And all you've done is say you don't know that you exist. Right, mine is an honest position. If I were being uh, uh, if, if I were to reciprocate your position. I which is a certain God doesn't exist. And this is why your position is fundamentally pointless. Because anyone can make assertions. So my position, that without God you can't know anything, hang on, is pointless. But your position, that we may not exist and that we don't know anything, is valid. Because if you say we don't know anything, I have to ask, how do you know that? The proof of the pudding is in the predictivity. Right? The, 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 the world the worldview that I propound is actually what builds civilizations. The knowledge, the, the, the simple assertion that I know God exists is pointless. It achieves nothing. You your, entire, know that, your entire position achieves nothing. Well, okay, you're making okay. Well, that you, let, 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 you can't even back down. Let's, let's do this at the point of a marital position. Let's establish which of these actual worldviews is better for actually defining that it's impossible. I, I think I, I, I think everyone here with their smartphones, with their Gore-Tex jackets, with their nice little microphones would disagree with you, right? But I, I, would I they think... agree that, that, that reality may not even exist? Do you guys agree with Thunderfoot? Reality may not even exist? Go for it. Uh, yeah, I mean, in some fashion, it's a fucking Yeah. So it's possible reality doesn't exist, and somebody saying, I don't know anything, it's possible reality doesn't exist, is going to try to tell me, here's what I know. That makes no sense. But it's honest. Yeah. And what I would ask you, if you're being honest, if you say it's possible I don't know anything, how do you know this? Now let's be honest. Sorry, what's the question? I said, now let's be honest. How do you know that you don't know anything? You know, I was talking, to, here's the deal. No, I don't know anything. That's an uh, internally inconsistent statement. But you're the one making that statement. No, I'm the guy making the three basal assumptions. Remember, I have three really assumptions. And you're saying you know things. And you're saying that that's not contradictory? We will do this one last time. I assume the universe exists. I assume you can learn something about the universe.
I assume that models with predictive capability are better than those without. The reason that I and everyone else here agrees with this is because it delivers the goods. Science delivers the goods. Religion delivers nothing in comparison. But you also said that you may deliver nothing. There may be no such thing as goods. I was debating an atheist online one time. You guys know how fun that is. Right? The reason Christians online is a blast until 2 o'clock in the morning. The next morning I get up and get my daughter Stephanie. She's 7 years old. I get her some cereal for breakfast. Pour the cereal in the bowl. I said, Stephanie, did you know there are some people that say we can't know anything? You know what my 7 year old said? Yeah. How do they know that? Right. It's an assumption. That's it's an ass No, no. That's your problem. No, it, it's that these are people who have not actually sat down and thought about um, the, the fundamental nature of reality. Right? You're, you're, uh, th th this is why your daughter can say such things. Because, of course, the universe exists. She, has she ever considered the fact that she might be wrong? Has she considered that? It, I mean, when, when your daughter says, you know, Daddy, the universe exists, did you say, How do you know that? I didn't ask if the universe exists. Well, I said, no, there, maybe if you there are some people that say we can't know anything, and her question was, How do they know that? And that's your claim, Thunderfoot. You're the one saying, I don't know anything, and I'm asking. One you know last, last, last time. I assume that the universe exists. So you're saying, I don't know it. I don't yeah, know that's anything. why it's You're called an assumption for fuck's sake. <laughs> so, your position is, I don't know anything, and I know that. No, no, no. no. You didn't say that. No. That's the way you derp it. Have you ever taken a simple logic class this. at I'll all? Did you go to college? Hey, Thunderfoot, thank you. I appreciate it. I know it's frustrating. A and B doesn't equal D. Really you need a C to get there. And I know it's frustrating, but thank you very much, and I'm glad we're... Uh, uh, let's, let's just do one last thing. Now, then that's my turn to ask some questions. Where has your religion delivered the goods? Are there such things as goods? Yes, yeah, it's a private question. Why is your, your man over there actually you're holding a video camera question. rather than saying, oh God, please send this message to everyone on earth? Why is he actually using a video camera? But you understand. You're Why is he using a video camera? Where's because God video cameras a video camera? work. Exactly, they work. Yeah. I agree with that. But and you're that, the one that who would say nothing to do they with, may not that's work. nothing to do with Jesus. You're, right, no, no, no. no. Where, where are the goods that your religion has delivered? I'm not asking about, well, what about the universe? Does such... the universe exist? No, I don't care what the universe exists at the moment. All I'm after is let's assume that everything you believe is true. What goods has your religion delivered? We're not asking about what I think. We're asking about what you think. Okay. And now I want to know what has your religion delivered versus scientific naturalism. Would it do, question first, would it do any good for me to say, no, here, no, that's not hang a question on, with question. On. I just I know, want I know, the numbers. I, I just know, want the I know, numbers. I know, I know. But would it do any good for me to answer somebody, here's the goods that yes, religion would. has produced, if I'm talking to somebody who says there's no such thing as good. I who wants to hear this guy you. answer and not answer with a yeah. question? Yeah. Right, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. right. Yeah. Answer the question. Yeah. Right, your turn to answer the question. The goods. We're not asking about what I believe. We're asking what you believe. We're assuming that everything that you say is correct. You're not talking to a man who doesn't believe the universe is true. My, my I am, but, Okay. So you're no, no, okay. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, for the sake of the argument, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. fine with whatever you say. Tell me the numbers. Okay. Why is it that the guy didn't say, well, there's this holy Bible thing. Um, yeah, there, 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 there's integrated electronics. Um, let's get built on video cameras. Well, and, 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 and now Jesus doesn't have to sort of die and come back from the dead. He can be on jumbo. Right, so can I answer that? Here's my answer. And I, you probably won't like it, but here's my answer. Because this is my position, and I'm just sharing that, okay? My position well, hold on, hold on. is that every single thing... The camera, your glasses, your backpack, <laughs> shoes, watch, everything. So your God works through scientific naturalism. <laughs> <laughs> is that what I just said? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.
<laughs> this, are you sure that's what I just said? Yes. 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 Yeah. If God didn't sure make this shit 6,000 years ago, you couldn't know anything. See what I have to go back to? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Okay, you got one real level petty point that I assume the universe exists. Do you want to assert things? I can assert things just as well as you. We've established that this is not a productive way to, to move things forward. And so it's my not view is without God, we can't even know anything. So this is just all the science, without God, we would have science. There'd be no uniformity of nature. The very basis of science is the uniformity of nature. We all know this. There's no reason for nature to be uniform in an evolution worldview. There's no reason to trust that what happens today will happen tomorrow. Matter of fact, an atheistic worldview would say it's possible something different might happen tomorrow. He said it just a second ago. Anything can happen. Water could boil at 300 degrees tomorrow instead of 212 today. Anything is possible. That is not how you do science. Science is not based on anything is possible. It's based on probability. Science, science is based on its facts. Science is based on the uniformity of nature. This is something that... So you are now a scientific naturalist. Now which, incorrect. So miracles can't happen because everything is established in perfect order through God. We've got to can miracles about. happen? Yeah, because he can just transcend nature. I mean, he's sort of created... But that's so, not hang on, hang on. So your position is that science works apart from when it doesn't work. Oh, okay. Say that again. Science works. That's how we, yeah, you, that's you assume that everything, else, everything that we do in science, you say is the only thing that you're assume. God, right? And then on the other side, you say, yeah, but apart from when it doesn't. This is a statement without informational content. No, the informational content is, could the creator of the science get involved and, and do something different? Could miracles happen? But, I mean, could... You, I think you would even admit that. If God exists and he is all-powerful, could he do miracles? Of course, even you would this, say that. You no, know, this is where you, you, you fall down. Is the predictive, the predictive models of utility about reality. Proposing redundancy in that is pointless. I can solve any problem in the world by proposing an unknown. So, for instance, I can tell you that the flying spaghetti monster explains how your God comes to be. So you've just given up atheism, and now your deity is the flying spaghetti monster? Do you, do you understand what a hypothetical is? I do. But what you're doing is you're giving a hypothetical of, could this God account for it? And I'm saying, right. if right. you're going to argue that, that no, you've no. given up atheism, in, to make your, for a moment, you've given up atheism to create your argument. Would you agree with that? Well, it's a hypothetical. Right. But it's a hypothetical outside of atheism in order to make that, correct? No, it could be a genie. Uh, yeah, a genie. because a I, can, I can tell you, I know, because it is the real truth to me that the flying spaghetti monster created your God. Your God's just the middleman. Would you like to debate that? Would you like to have a debate between no, no, no. the God of the Bible and the flying spaghetti well, monster? No, no, is that is that no, your position? The, the, the only way that you can explain your God's omnipotence is if there is a trans-omnipotent being. And that trans-omnipotent being, you can't explain your God without the flying spaghetti monster. I know this to be true. Would you it like to reveal it? I think we are. I'm saying, would you really no, no. like to book can a you, hall can you, and can do you, a debate can on you explain, that? Can you, no, no, let's get it out. Can you explain your God without the flying spaghetti monster? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Thunderfoot. He has just given up atheism and is now believing in the I flying spaghetti monster. You see what I have to do there? You have to give yeah, up yeah, atheism. Yeah. Hold still just a second. You have to give up atheism in order to argue against me. That's what you're doing. You're saying, okay, let's pretend it's this God. Uh, well, what, what, if you're what, doing what, that, you're giving what, up atheism. What I'm doing is there's some sort of combination of the Socratic method and reductum to absurdity. That basically, if I, I if I adopt your position, which I, I, I can quite happily do, if I adopt your position that I can just assert things as true, then you get nowhere. Right? If we all did what you did. We, we would all be banging the rocks together in a swampy estuary at the moment, That's right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's true. Oh, you, you believe yeah. in absolute truth? Absolutely. No, no, no. You believe in absolute truth? I'll keep truth? going with the original point. Come on. Do you see the problem? You deal no. in worlds of absolutes. Okay. No, 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 no. Look, them. I've explained this to you earlier. I assume that the universe exists. Because there is the basal assumption, you can never have absolute truth. Do you dispute that that is true? <laughs> Do I dispute that we can have absolute truth? You absolutely dispute it. I, I believe, yes, we can have absolute truth. Do you, now, just no, no, okay. You no, agree no, with no, that? No, no, no. You agree with that? Oh. So you're, you're a social. Right, so, so you could agree you, with could, that? Could you be wrong? 
Could I be wrong about what? Could you be wrong about your statement of absolute truth? If I said, if I took the position of I'm wrong, I couldn't know it, could I? Yes, uh, you so, know, so you could education. be wrong that absolute no. truth exists. No, because if I said I could be wrong, or if I said I'm wrong, absolute truth does not exist, I'm contradicting myself, right? Right, you have an internally inconsistent position. No, which is why I say absolute truth does exist, because that is internally consistent. But you accept that you could be wrong. I mean, the only no, other, I didn't right? accept so it. I said it depends on what we're talking about. Yeah, but, uh, could I be wrong that absolute truth exists? No, because if I could be, so you have then we divine wouldn't know knowledge. You are the recipient of divine knowledge. The word of Eric As Hoban are you. is absolutely above all others. His no, truth that's is not what I said indisputable. Before. Yes, it is. You said no. that you could you not be wrong. Be, you have absolute on, about truth, what? and it is impossible. Be wrong. No, you said, could you be wrong that absolute truth exists? And I said, on that, are there some things I could be wrong about? Yes. On could I be wrong that absolute truth exists? No, because if I said yes, it's possible absolute truth does not exist, then we couldn't know anything. That is internally inconsistent. No, you, Do you believe that absolute truth exists? I've answered this once. And I answered it. Let me just clarify. What did you say? The mere fact that you have to assume that the universe exists means that absolute truth, as perceived within the universe, is basal on the assumption that the universe exists. So until you right. actually... You know, I, I mean, so it's course, possible that absolute truth does not exist. And I gotta ask, are you absolutely sure of that? On the assumption, the mere fact you can never get around this, you need to assume that the universe exists before you can propose any sort of thing, does truth exist, does absolute truth exist. Right? It is all contingent on an assumption. Now I'm fairly happy with that assumption. But you would also say at the exact same time, it's possible we don't exist. And that to me is the inconsistency in what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I, 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 okay, I, I'm, I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm just going to do this. Yes, I know I exist. I know your God doesn't exist. Are you now going to become an atheist? No, I, I know. I know it's true. I have absolute knowledge that your God doesn't exist. Now, why are you still continuing with yeah. the delusion about magical men in the sky? Well, this doesn't make sense because just a few minutes no, ago. No, 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 no. Hang on. I, 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 I've, um, so you've repented. I, you've repented and you're no, no longer an atheist and you're going to say you can't really, have absolute yeah, truth. I, I, I think that's so you can have absolute truth. Guys. You're not an atheist. Now you want to talk. Yeah, right. So now you know your God doesn't exist. What wow. are you do Ladies and gentlemen, Thunderfoot has just Near given up of his atheism. No, yeah, I, 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 and, and, and Eric here has just accepted that his yeah. God doesn't exist. Where he wants, no, what? Uh, This is coming from a man who says we might not even be here. This may not even be happening. I think that's really something. I hope you have a good time here. I really do. And I really, like I said earlier, I really do appreciate the civil discussion. You guys know that there's a lot of conversations between Christians and atheists that are not civil. And I really do appreciate the civil discussion. Thank you very much. It would have been nicer if there wasn't quite as much going on in the circles. I know. But when you take the position, we're going to get into it. When you take the position that we could be wrong, you go around and say, Well, well, yeah, so I mean, you essentially reduce the whole thing to a question of sorts. The man, Sight and Brooklyn, are you familiar with him? Sight and Brooklyn, okay, proof that God exists.org? Okay, well, if I get a chance, I'd love to introduce you to him and let you talk to him and do an interview with him at some point. Cool? But I'll let you meet all your groupies here, okay? Enjoy the good Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.